you came tired from school. You have no energy left. What will you have? Yes, you are right. You will have food. Food is the basic need of all living beings. We need food for our growth, development and survival. Food provides us with energy which we require to perform various functions of our body. It also protects our body against diseases. The food we eat contains substances that keep our body healthy. These substances are called nutrients. The nutrients that our body needs are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Carbohydrates are the main source of energy for the body. They provide energy that helps to keep our body warm. Sugar and starch are common carbohydrates. Sugar is present in all fruits. Starch is present in rice, wheat, potato, sweet potato, etc. Honey is a nutritious food. It is rich in carbohydrate known as fructose. Proteins are found in bodybuilding foods. They help in growth, so they are very important for the growing children. They also help in repairing of damaged cells in our body. Fats give us more energy than carbohydrates. They also help to keep our skin smooth. Example, oil, ghee, butter and nuts. Extra fat can be stored in our body and it insulates our body from cold weather. Vitamins and minerals keep our body healthy. Our body needs many types of vitamins and minerals in small quantities. Food rich in vitamins and minerals protects us from eye diseases, skin diseases, body ache and makes our muscles and bones strong. That is why vitamins and minerals are known as protective foods. We get vitamins and minerals by eating green leafy vegetables, fruits, meat, eggs, milk etc. Milk is rich in calcium which makes our bones and teeth strong. The food we eat regularly is called our diet. The diet that contains the required amount of all the nutrients in correct proportion is called a balanced diet. Water is not a nutrient but is needed by our body for proper functioning of our body. It helps in digestion of food. Roughage is the indigestible component of food. It can absorb a good amount of water and thus keeps the undigested food soft. Roughage helps in removing the undigested food out of the body. We get roughage from the fibrous food. Fruits and vegetables are good sources of roughage. What happens to the food we eat? Where does it go? The food that we eat passes through many organs of our body. During this process, the complex substances present in food get converted into simpler and soluble form that can be absorbed easily by our body. This process is known as digestion. The organs involved in the process of digestion together form digestive system. Let us understand step by step how the food passes through different organs in the process of digestion. The food that we eat is tasted by our tongue and our teeth help in cutting and chewing it. During biting and chewing, the food is mixed with saliva, which is produced in our mouth. It is a digestive juice, which makes our food moist, soft and easy to swallow. It also helps in digestion of starch. Once the food is swallowed, it passes from our mouth down to a tube called food pipe, and then to stomach in the form of a paste where the protein digestion starts. Then, this paste enters small intestine. The small intestine secretes some juices, which help in further digestion. The digested simple food enters into blood from small intestine and then supplied to all our body parts. The waste materials from the undigested food enter large intestine. The major part of the water content present in the food is absorbed by the walls of the large intestine. From there, undigested food goes out of our body through an opening known as anus. What should be kept in mind for a proper digestion? We must have our meals at fixed time. We must wash our hands before and after meals. We must eat a balanced diet. We should take salads such as onion, cucumber and tomato that contain roughage 
with health and proper digestion. We should chew the food well before swallowing it. We should not laugh or talk while eating. It may lead to choking. Do you know that we eat about 500 kg of food per year, approximately, and about 1.5 liters of saliva is produced each day. Most of our food items are cooked and eaten. Some food items such as fruits, nuts and some vegetables like carrot, radish, tomato, onion and cucumber are eaten raw. Whenever we eat raw vegetables or fruits, we should wash them before eating. These raw fruits and vegetables provide more minerals and vitamins than cooked food. We should always wash the fruits and vegetables before cutting or peeling. If we wash them after cutting, water-soluble vitamins and minerals will be washed away. So, we should wash them only before cutting. Why is there is need to cook food? Why can't we eat it raw? Well, cooking makes food tasty. It makes food soft, which helps in digestion. It helps in killing germs present in food. We should take care of the cooked food properly. Let me tell you how. We should always keep our food covered to protect from germs. The food should be cooked properly for sufficient time so that it could be soft enough to eat and digest. To avoid spoilage, we should adopt different methods to preserve the food. When the food is in excess, we usually put it in a refrigerator. This act of storing food is known as food preservation. If you leave food outside, it will be spoiled. Let us know about some food preservation methods. Refrigeration. Germs do not grow at very low temperatures. Foodstuffs such as milk, bread, vegetables, eggs, fruits and cooked food can be preserved by keeping them in a refrigerator. Canning. Some foodstuffs can be stored in airtight containers. Bacteria and other germs cannot grow in them as they do not get air and moisture. Fruits, fish, meat and sweets are canned for preservation. Boiling. Boiling kills the germs. Boiling helps in preserving liquid food like milk. Drying. Some vegetables like carrot, peas, cauliflower etc. are dried. The bacteria and other germs cannot grow on it as there is no moisture. In this way, foodstuffs can be saved from spoilage. Pickling. Food can be stored by adding certain chemicals known as preservatives. A commonly used preservative is salt. Salt and oil are used for making pickles with vegetables like cauliflower, raw mango, lemon etc. Vinegar is also used to preserve some pickles. Making jams. Most of the fruits can be made into jams by adding sugar. Excess sugar is also a good preservative like salt. Microbes cannot grow in jams because of excess sugar. You have burger and french fries in one plate and porridge and veggie in another plate. Which would you prefer to eat? Of course, the plate with burger and french fries. The junk food is easily prepared and contains many chemicals to give colors and flavors for smell. All these chemicals can harm your body. Junk food have low nutritive value. Some chips and other fried things are usually fried in very cheap and low quality oils which are harmful to health. So, it is good to avoid such food. Let us summarize. Food is the basic requirement for all living things. The food we eat contains nutrients such as carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Water and roughage are also important for our body to do many functions. Cooking makes food tasty, soft, appetizing and easily digestible. Cooking also kills the germs present in food. We eat some raw food which have to be washed and cleaned before eating. We should always wash the vegetables before cutting, but not after cutting. We store the food in refrigerators to avoid the wastage of food and spoilage. We can also preserve the food by canning, boiling, drying, making jams and pickling.